Hey guys, happy Tuesday to you all. Um, I am having a fabulous day. The weather here is perfect. And I'm feeling really generous today, okay? And um, I think that's going to be the title of this message, okay? The title of this conversation that I'm having with you guys, okay? It's, I'm feeling really generous, okay? That's, that's all it is. I'm just feeling really generous. So generous that I felt like, you know, let me go ahead and share some of these things the Lord is dropping in my spirit today, okay? Um, listen, I was going on minding my business, you know, having a lovely day, perfect day absolutely perfect okay and all of a sudden the lord just started saying you know why don't you share with people about the cost what it has cost you some of the cost uh, of your following me what you have had to go through because of your choice to follow me your choice in picking up your cross and saying yes to me I said, you know what, Father, I think I will. I think I will share that with my family today. So listen, y'all, let's get into this. Let's get into this conversation. And I'm going to be real fast. I'm not going to try to be, you know, before you guys too long. All right. Um, so listen, when God calls you to a, a, a call, all right, let's say you have a really high calling. All right. Not everybody has this high calling. Okay. Now, yes, everybody can be called um, to certain things, and your calling may not be as high as another person's call, but you may have a call to serve your community, serve your city, serve your state, and you may be meant with you know opposition a lot of warfare okay because let's just be real here anything that you do for god okay let's just say you got a pure heart anything you ever do for god will be met with some type of opposition especially especially if your heart is pure okay because see demons know this demons know all about you all right God knows who you are and the devil knows who you are as well. So let's jump into what it is for a person that has a really high call, okay? Let's jump into the things that you will experience and the types of things that you will go through, you know, all because of this call, all right? So first of all, you know, congratulations to you. If you've been called into a high call by our Heavenly Father, it means that he trusts you. It means that he has faith in you. It means that he knows that you can do, he knows you can do what he's called you to do. Okay? He would have not chose you. He would have not called you if he hadn't thought that you were capable of what he called you to. Let's just get that out of the way. Congratulations to you. Congratulations is an order. It really truly is, okay? Um, next, if you're called by God to do something that your mind, you can't even wrap your own mind around, you got to understand that your attacks are gonna be greater, okay? You're gonna have people who you don't even know from a can of paint, okay? They don't even know you. Let's say, for instance, maybe they know you by name or they know you because they heard you through word of mouth or whatever the case might be. They don't know you, okay? The only things that these people are interested in is bringing you down. And the reason why they are interested in bringing you down is because there are spirits, that are working through them. And it's not the Holy Spirit. Let me just be clear about that. There, it's not the Holy Spirit. It's demonic spirits that are coming through people in order to stop you from getting to where 
your heading, all right? So you're going to be attacked. You're going to go through attacks in your family. You're going to be lied on. There's going to be even possibly your past. You're going to be trying to make, you know, get away from that. But then that at times may even try to rear its ugly head. It's a lot of things that you're going to have to fight against, all right, because of this call, all right? It's going to be people that you ain't talked to in years. They're going to find you. <laughs> They're going to find you and they're going to be sorry about the things that they've done to you and everything. And they're going to try to lure you in to your past, a place that God has already brought you out of. Okay. A place that God doesn't even want you to go back to. Okay. And you're just going to be stalked. You're going to be stalked by people. They're going to be following you. They're going to be strangers that's going to be following you. It's going to be people that's going to try to trap you. I'm just giving I'm just giving you the real. You're going to have haters. People that don't even know you are now your haters. Full-blown haters. I'm just going to tell y'all the truth. Okay? I'm just not going to give y'all this thing and, and talk to y'all like oh if you're called it's gonna be all it's gonna be a bed of roses no it's not gonna be a bed of roses no it's not gonna be that okay I just want you to know that it's not gonna be that all right being called to something as great as the Lord has called you to it's really going to take so much work on your end all right a, a lot of times people want to think that, you know, it's going to be other people that's going to support and help them. And you got to you got to understand that you may not get that support. You may not get that help that you desire. OK, and the reason being that you're not going to get it is because a lot of these people, number one, most of these people are not on God's side. Let me just throw that out there. And then the next thing is you're training. God is training you. All right. So when you're in training, a lot of times you can't have a lot of people in that training with you because there's going to be a lot of people in that. If they get into training with you, they're going to be trying to control um, which direction in, that you're going in. All right. And instead of you going into the direction the Lord will have you to go. Right. They're going to have you veering off into another place that God don't want you in. Do you feel what I'm saying? And this is the time that God wants for you to learn who he is. This is a time that he wants for you to discover who you are in him. Oh, God, I feel your spirit. This is the time that he is looking for you to grow and mature enough in him and the he, the reason he needs you to mature in him is because you going you are up against a lot i'm just going to be flat out real it's a lot of attacks they're going to come from everywhere okay as soon as you get done with a, an attack it's going to be another attack to come up it's going to be another attack it's going to go day after day week after week month after month year after year and the reason I can speak on this is because I've experienced this, okay? Your family going to get attacked. You might be attacked at work. You may be uh, under uh, watch, under surveillance from people in your neighborhood. It's going to get really right out weird, okay? Let me tell you, all right? Um, the very people that are writing all of these books and all of this kind of stuff, people who got more followers than you, people who are well known, people who are famous are going to start stalking you. All right. And it's not going to be for a good reason. I'm just going to put it out there. All right. It's not going to be for a good reason. Okay. And see, the thing is, oh gosh, see, y'all, I'm so passionate about this conversation right now and it's so dear to my heart it's so dear to my heart um because this is just what you're gonna go through it's a real experience it's what you're gonna go through and you have to learn to take the bitter with the sweet that's what's coming to me you gotta learn to take it um 
And just understand that, you know, if you're going through it, obviously God, like I said, trusts you. He has faith in you and your ability to be able to go through and come through on the other side like gold. All right. Um, Y'all, look, this thing was just so much in me today. I just had to. I had to stop and just come to y'all really quick to let y'all to put this, put this in your ear really quick. All right. Don't get discouraged. I want to tell you, don't get discouraged. It's going to be some people that you, you're out here helping. You aim to help. You are faithfully praying for. You are faithfully looking out for. And they're going to turn, they, the, when they, the first opportunity they get to turn, they, turn on you, they're going to turn on you and they're going to bite you. They're going to bite you, all right? You're going to get bit sometimes. I mean, Jesus had Judas. Did he not have him? Okay, and he allowed Judas to remain, obviously because it was a mission that Jesus had to fulfill, and Judas was part of that. So since we know that Judas was part of that, all of these different things going on is part of your mission, OK, you got to go through the fire. You got to go through the fire to come out as pure gold. All right. Um, <laughs> Y'all, listen, you, you ain't going to be able to get away from the haters. I know people say, well, why people talk about haters? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. You're you going to have them, period, 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 period. You're going to have them. You're not getting away from them. Um. You're going to have the haters when you're at the lower level of this thing. And then you're going to have more haters as you rise and you get higher. They're going to, it's going to continue to be more and more. And then every single level and every single time you cross over one hurdle, you'll have more hurdles that you do have to cross over. Because you're going to get tested at every level and at every level it's going to be a greater devil you have to fight. And you have it's going to be a greater giant that you have to defeat. And a lot of times what it is, is God is just building you up. He's preparing you for these bigger giants because they're bigger ones to come. All right. They're going to be bigger, bigger ones that are going to come. And he can't have you out here every time somebody's um, throwing shots at you. He can't have you out here uh, passing out. He can't have you out here falling and crying and complaining and going through the motions of which you can't take. You got to be able to take this stuff because it comes with the territory. It definitely comes with the territory. All right. You got to be willing to be called all kinds of things. You got to be willing for people to, to treat you as if you're nothing, as if you're absolutely nothing. You got to be willing for people who don't even know you. You could be the sweetest, uh, 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 what is it? Buttercup, <laughs> the sweetest sunflower in the garden. Literally, you can be just that smelling good and everything. All right. The purest heart. And it's not going to matter. All right. It's going to matter to who it should matter to. Let me just say that who it should matter to is going to matter, but it's not going to matter to the devil. And it's not going to matter to the people that he is uh, using to come to come at you, because what they want to do is they just want to take you off of where you're at. Out of jealousy, out of envy, out of hatred. They just want to pull you down. You know, they just want to pull you down. Um, and the truth be, if they look within their circle, if they look at, if they look within some of their groups of people that they have uh, called so-called friends and even people they are associate, uh, associated with today, the, the things that they call you, you can find all of that right in the mix of the groups that they, you know, they deal with. Oh, God, that's good. I felt God. You can find them same people because it's like they what they want to do is they want to pin you, the one that God is using, the good seed as the bad seed. But lo and behold, they are surrounded by bad seed, the Lord says. Woo! They surrounded by it. 
Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. They, they surrounded by it. And this is another thing the Lord is saying also. Um, <laughs> who, Lord have mercy. You, you people who are faithfully hating on people and all you're doing is blessing them. All you're doing, God is saying what you are for those that he has chosen and his hand is on. What you are for them is straight up confirmation. Mm. Woo! Yes, God. You are confirmation to where these people are heading. You are confirmation that what God is saying has been true. You're fighting people, your uh, mistreatment of people, you're slandering people, you're gossiping about these people, you're uh, doing these things in vain, the Lord is saying. Everything you're doing is in vain because you can't curse who God has blessed. Oh, woo! you can't curse them. You cannot curse who God's hand is on. You can't do it. It can't be done, the Lord says, and it will never be done. It will never be done. And the more you curse them, the more you talk about them, the more you uh, treat people who are good in the, uh, in the wrong way, the more you miss out on your blessings. As you are treating these people in such a hateful way, your blessings get snatched. The doors you want to walk through, they're being closed. Or, thank you, Father, he's telling me this, or the doors you're walking in is about to be a trap. It's about to be a trap that you're walking in and you're going to fall right in it. All right. And that's what the Lord just said. Okay. Because God says, don't touch his anointed. Don't touch those people that he has anointed. It is none of your business what God is doing with his children. It is none of your business. Your business is to do what God called you to do. And if you're not doing what God has called you to do, then you are, in fact, the problem. Your business is to focus on the business that God gave you. All right. So I don't know why God wanted me to go here. But listen, I was feeling really generous. All right. I was feeling really generous. God is good. God is good. And today the uh, flowers are blooming. Oh, my God. It is so beautiful. It's hot. All right. But it is absolutely beautiful where I am. I am taking it in. Oh, gosh. I'm taking it all in. God is good. All right. And the devil don't like it. The devil don't like it because we're happy. We're happy. We're whole. We're looking forward to the things that God has promised us coming to pass. And you know what? We deserve it. We deserve it. If you have fought through every battle, every lie, every uh, misunderstanding, if you have fought through witchcraft they sent to you, if they were trying to kill you, I mean, if they were trying to kill your children, because let me just be real, I experienced the stuff. I can only talk about, like I always say, what I know. And let me tell y'all, when y'all come after children and you don't repent and you out here doing witchcraft on children, trying to take them out of here, you are beyond crazy. Okay, you are insane and you really need deliverance. You really need deliverance because trying to kill somebody either way, whether it be spiritually or naturally, that's a real huge sin. OK, but in any case, if you don't repent from that stuff, you are really under some serious judgment by God. You are truly under judgment. OK, so once again, guys, listen, this is supposed to be more of a, hey, hey, I just let God do what he did. All right. I was very generous. I pray that my generosity has blessed somebody today. <laughs> Y'all, I feel too good. God is so good. It's just been a good day. It's just been a good day. Listen, guys, listen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't let no devil steal your joy. If anything, when some devil come at you and he get the yakking or talking, you better tell him, thank you, you confirmation. <laughs> you confirmation, baby. You confirmation 
to my next level. Your confirmation to my blessing. Your confirmation to my breakthrough. Your confirmation to my divine miracle. Your confirmation to all the things that God has in store for me. Woo! Yes, God, you are confirmation today. <laughs> so listen, y'all. Y'all do be blessed today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love to have y'all over on my channel, any of you new people. And I would love to just, oh gosh, just thank everybody for listening and for being patient with me as I am still growing. Although I've been in this thing for a minute, although I've been in these trenches for a minute, hey, look, I might be what they may consider behind the scenes, but I'm still on the scene. And I'm at the front of the line. I might be in the back, like I said, but I'm still at the front of the line. And so are you. And so are you. If God put his hand on you and if God has blessed you, I don't care if you're at the back of the line. If you are anointed and appointed, you are really at the front of the line and you can get ready for God to move you to the front of the line. All right. You didn't go through everything that you went through for nothing. Everything was for a purpose. Everything was for a reason. All right. So until next time, guys, <laughs> until next time, y'all be blessed. I can't wait to talk to y'all again on the next video. Take care.